You talk about how fast things can change. Just like that, the Pittsburgh Steelers are in the NFL playoffs. Yes, you heard that correctly. This team is in the NFL playoffs because the Jacksonville Jaguars have lost to the Tennessee Titans and it has pushed this team straight into the spot. Now, depending on who they face in the first round, I would definitely have a preview and prediction for that video. But depending on who they face, it depends on on what will go on with this team in the playoffs. They have a true shot because you look at the offense that they have. They've been able to run the football at a high clip over the last couple weeks. Mason Rudolph has come in. He's given this team a great chance to go out there and win football games because they've been able to go out there and score points with their dynamic wide receiving duo in Deontay Johnson and George Pickens. Najee Harris has been phenomenal on the back half of the season. The same with Jalen Warren as well. The one thing that really concerns me the last couple of games have not been against stiff competition. I can admit that. They scored 30-plus points against the Bengals. They scored 30-plus points against the Seattle Seahawks. Those are two of the worst defenses in the NFL, especially for the Seahawks because they can't stop the run. And you look at the Bengals, they're solid against the run, but they can't stop the pass. Now, against the Baltimore Ravens, they did have some of their starters out there, like Patrick Queen. You also had Jadavion Clowney out there as well, and they looked fine. It was a horrible rainy day, but they did enough to get a win. They're going to be without T.J. Watt more than likely for the first playoff game. But if they can win that first game, and if T.J. Watt is able to come back, This team could be in a good situation. I'm not trying to give you false hope, but anything can happen in the NFL playoffs. Mason Rudolph has never been a starting quarterback in the NFL playoffs before, so it'd be very interesting. But give this team credit and give Mason Rudolph credit because this was a team that was dead to rights a couple of weeks ago when they went to Mr. Trubisky for him to be the starting quarterback. Mr. Trubisky was terrible. The interceptions held this team back, and he was not able to stretch the field when they needed him the most. He was not putting the wide receivers in the best situation. In a span of over just three to four weeks, this team went from being one of those teams on the outside looking in. George Pickens was upset. Deontay Johnson was upset on the sideline. Najee Harris was annoyed in press conferences. And it seems like within a couple of weeks, they made that quarterback change and everyone on the offense side of things, they're happy. The offensive line looks better. The wide receivers look better. George Pickens has over a 1,000 yards receiving, and he looks like one of the best young wide receivers in the game. We've heard about this the last two years. He has all-world potential. He's amazing. We're starting to see it right now with Mason Ruff giving him a chance to go out there and catch the football and do damage in the open field. And if they can run the football with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, that's a good recipe for this team. They have Pat Firemute as well. The one thing about Coach Tomlin, this is a guy that a lot of people were down on, and I'm not going to lie, I was down on him a couple weeks as well, because why is Mr. Trubisky your starting quarterback? He was kind of holding his team back with his stubbornness. He went to Mason Rudolph, they've won more games, and they've been put into a better situation. Give Coach Tomlin credit for that defense as well, because this is a defense that that has dealt with injuries all season long. No Cole Holcomb, no Coin Alexander. Now we're going to really see what happens in the playoffs now, because you're depending on Miles Jack and Alandon Roberts at that linebacking spot. And their defensive pressure is going to take a step back without T.J. Watt if he's not able to play in that wild card game. But you do have Alex Highsmith, who is very good. You still have Nick Herbig, who's a very good young player on this team. You have Cameron Hayward. So this is going to be a very tough Steelers defense still, even without T.J. Watt. And a lot of their success comes from T.J. Watt. They're going to miss him. But I believe that Coach Tom can go out there and scheme some things up with Coach Austin. Because you look at the safeties. Over the last couple weeks, no Mika Fitzpatrick. He hurt his knee a couple weeks ago. You put Patrick Peterson at the safety position, who has playoff experience. DeMonte Casey has been out since the Indianapolis Colts game because he got suspended. They had to call in Eric Rowe. Now, what's so interesting about this is he was suspended for the regular season. We're no longer in the regular season. Push this kid to the playoffs, get him back on the field because he's a very good safety for this team, especially in tackle situations. Get him back on the field. And then you also have Jordan Porter Jr., who's looked good in the last couple games as well. When he's not holding on to the opposing wide receiver, he's looked very good. Levi Wallace has come in. When you keep him on the field for a short amount of time, he's looked good. But when he's a true number two to number one corner, it's not good. Keep him in certain situations and he will be fine for you. The Steelers team, they have a shot. I'm not saying that they're going to go to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, but anything can happen. And it's just good to see this team be in this situation. What is going to be very interesting, if Mason Rudolph can continue to carry that momentum into the playoffs and he win them a playoff game or two, Kenny Pickett's job long term is definitely in question. 
because Mason Rudolph has been with this team for quite some time. This team drafted him when Big Ben was on the roster, and Big Ben wasn't the biggest fan to move. He was being upset. Why couldn't we get a wide receiver? Why not go get a running back? They went and got Mason Rudolph. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, this was a guy that was one foot out the league. Teams were not offering him a deal. He was shadowing to become a real estate agent. And it seems like within the last three to four weeks, this guy's the best quarterback on the roster, and he is. He's miles ahead of Mitch, and he's better than Kenny Pickett as well. Mr. Trubisky shouldn't be on this roster, but he is. But the Steelers have done a phenomenal job down the stretch. Give Coach Tomlin credit for that. I know a lot of people are still down on Coach Tomlin, but I'm going to give him credit. I gave him a lot of flack in the past. I got to give him credit with the roster adjustments and putting guys in the best situation. He has done that with Coach Austin and with the two coordinators as well. It's just crazy because this is the weirdest stiller season in quite some time. They couldn't do anything on the offensive end for the first five to six games. They couldn't do anything with Matt Canada. Then they fire Matt Canada. Coach Faulkner comes in with Coach Sullivan. Coach Sullivan is calling plays. You have Coach Faulkner, the running backs coach, he's in there as well. And they're figuring things out. That first game without Matt Canada, they get over 400 yards of offense. They beat the Cincinnati Bengals. Then they lose against the Arizona Cardinals. Kenny Pickett goes out. Trubisky comes in looks horrible and then the next game against the Patriots they look horrible again then they get blown out by the Indianapolis Colts and they put in Mason Rudolph for the last drive and he looked solid then against the Bengals he comes out on fire the second play from scrimmage it's a 70 plus yard touchdown to George Pickens and we're off to the races and nothing's been the same since then they have done this against inferior competition, but give them credit because if they would have started Mason Rudolph sooner, they possibly could have been in a better situation because you look at how good this defense has been all season long with getting takeaways and being good in red zone efficiency with their defense. This is a scary football team. And they've just been held back by horrible quarterback play from Kenny Pickett and Mr. Trubisky. And this is not me hating on either one of those guys because I do like Kenny Pickett as a player. I really do. I was one of those guys that was st standing up for him with the first couple games saying, hey, it's not on him, it's on Matt Canada. I'll take the L for that. I really will. If he's not the right quarterback for this team, and right now he is not, I can come on here and say that. Mason has looked better. I can admit that. But Kenny is still on the roster. He could be a very good backup quarterback while they're making this stretch right now. I just beg Coach Tomlin, please. Continue to put Mason Rudolph out there, ride the hot hand until he can't ride anymore. And if he does get exposed in the playoffs, hey, guess what? It gets George Pickett some playoff experience. It gives Deontay Johnson more playoff experience. And it gives Najee Harris more playoff experience as well. And it gets Pat Firemute some experience as well. It gets all these young players on the offensive end to learn how it is to go on the road and to possibly win a playoff game. You can't teach that. That is something that you have to learn by getting to the NFL playoffs. And this is Coach Tomlin's 10th season with 10-plus wins. If you were hoping that Coach Tomlin would get fired and see him move off from him like how it was a couple weeks ago, we're going to all sadly be mistaken. Because you look at what they've done. They've made the playoffs, and they can win a playoff game. He's getting that contract extension. It's just a quarterback spot with this team. And I understand this is a Steelers organization that has not won a playoff game since 2016. That's a black eye for Tomlin. But give this man credit for the way that he's adjusted the roster and put these players in the best situation. And his clock management has been better as well. Now in the playoffs upcoming, he may get exposed and he may look bad. But you have to give this man credit. With three different starting quarterbacks this season, he was still able to go out there and make the NFL playoffs. The only other coach that was able to do that this season with four different starting quarterbacks, and that was Kevin Stefanski with the Cleveland Browns. But let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the Steelers making the NFL playoffs and can they make some noise. I'm on the outside of that, I don't think that they can make any, any true noise, but it's just exciting to see this team back in the NFL playoffs. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last win, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.